Welcome back. The primary goal of this course is to meet students wherever they are and to empower them to develop their understanding and mastery of the content standards established by the state of North Carolina for integrated mathematics too. Many students come to this course well prepared for the content and eager to master its challenges. Some arrive having forgotten or never having learned some key skills that will be required. Others entered having struggled with math in the past and having developed a distaste for what they begin to regard as a pointless subject. Still others bring with them a long history of frustration or even despair whenever they attempt to work on new math skills, convincing themselves through a series of attempts and failures that they are just not good at math. Most embody a mix of all of these experiences, attitudes, and abilities. And for good measure, we can add in the nervous energy that naturally accompanies the unknown, including a new instructor, new classmates, new material, and for some, a new school. Whatever your current level of ability and self-assessed aptitude for mathematics, this course was designed with you in mind. Part of what can be confusing about this course is that there are many ways to win, depending on your goals, abilities, and willingness to invest time and effort. Is what we're studying in class right now easy for you? Great! Demonstrate mastery of the new material and press forward to learn new things at an accelerated pace. Do you need to brush up on your arithmetic or algebra skills? Wonderful! Incorporate math fact practice and skill review into your daily practice and study routine to get caught up and make learning the new content easier. Do you feel lost and unable to keep up with the new material right now? No worries. It's okay. Let me know. Ask for help. Early. Now. Don't wait. With focused tutoring and help, you should be able to catch up with your classmates, maybe fairly quickly. If it will take a longer term effort to catch up, we'll devise a personalized plan to focus on review materials so that you can go back and master the foundational skills and knowledge necessary to move forward. This is an honors course. Students who simply complete the assigned homework and master the new skills and do well on tests aren't likely to earn an A. Depending on ability and test scores, this level of effort will likely earn a B or a C. For those who are willing to develop their own review and self-study plans and who are committed to working beyond the minimum outlined in the curriculum, they can earn sufficient points to guarantee a grade of B and make it very likely they will earn an A. To say it somewhat differently, if you're ready for the challenge of learning the new material, I'm confident that working together, we can help you learn and master it. If you aren't ready yet, we can help get you ready. In either case, the primary determinant of your progress and success will be your willingness to invest time and effort into your studies. Now on to the meat of the subject material. From the syllabus, the focus of Mathematics 2 is on quadratic expressions, equations, and functions, comparing their characteristics and behavior to those of linear and exponential relationships studied in Mathematics 2. The content is organized into six critical areas or units. The need for extending the set of rational numbers arises, and real and complex numbers are introduced so that all quadratic equations can be solved. The link between probability and data is explored through conditional probability and counting methods, including their use in making and evaluating decisions. The study of similarity leads to an understanding of right triangle trigonometry and connects to quadratics through Pythagorean relationships. Throughout the course, emphasis will be placed on helping students develop reasoning and problem-solving skills as described in the Standards for Mathematical Practice. These are making sense of problems and persevering in solving them, reasoning abstractly and quantitatively, constructing viable arguments and critiquing the reasoning of others, modeling with mathematics and using appropriate tools strategically, attending to precision, looking for and making use of structure, and looking for and expressing regularity in repeated reasoning. Students will also be expected to take responsibility for their own learning by developing personal learning goals, studying and practicing relevant skills and concepts, measuring their progress, and then making adjustments as necessary. In the next video in the series will discuss the overall grading methodology for the class. Thanks for watching.